Bring him back to life. Because we need him. But no, the deed is done. He has paid the debt which every mortal owes God. It is the answer to the last call. The only driving force was how he could impact humanity. Indeed, Professor Babatudu Shutume had a professional and public service career that registered profound impact on the lives of millions across the world. I want to shed my cap as uh, United Nations Under Secretary General, but I'm a Nigerian. Yeah. I'm a Nigerian first and foremost, will always be a Nigerian. I'm what I am because I'm a Nigerian, because this country made me what I am today. A product of University of Ibadan, where he studied medicine. University of Birmingham, United Kingdom, where he obtained a doctorate degree in medicine and a fellow in endocrinology at the Cornell University Graduate School of Medicine, New York, United States. Babatundu Shutume became a professor of clinical pathology at the College of Medicine, University of the Battle, where he subsequently served as provost. is extremely knowledgeable and uh, on all aspects of medicine. He's prepared to listen to other people. Nothing hidden, nothing... Uh, well, you know, straightforward and honest opinion about things. And I found him extremely knowledgeable of uh, medical issues in general. And then, of course, specific issues of things like you know, virology and NACA and so on. That capacity to manage men, create an inclusive, harmonious, and result-oriented work relationship, commended him to the federal government of Nigeria, which appointed him chairman, National Action Committee on AIDS. His inspiring leadership of the committee worked to transform it into the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA. He became the pioneer director general of NACA between 2007 and 2008. We propose, and I hope that very soon we'll start to work with wives of governors, the state sackers, and wives of local government chairmen to ensure that we build enough capacity in each state so that women can be in the forefront of this fight. He was my teacher at the University of Ibadan, working with uh, Professor Shotemey. He was a father figure. The prof was ready to work with everyone, even though he knew that he cannot satisfy everybody because of the resources he had. But at least he worked with everyone. I will remind to remember Shotemey for his humility, for his open door policy, for his fatherly advice and for working with people from different culture and religion and blend together. He left very big footprints in the sand of times, not only in Nigeria, but worldwide. He represented us very well, starting from his time as the Director General of NACA, when he took NACA to a completely new level. His tenure at NACA made NACA become the envy of everyone. And then of course, his wonderful job obviously manifested in him being appointed the Minister for Health. A job again he did absolutely well to the envy of everyone. His humility and the ability to coordinate very easily was one thing I will never forget. He's one person who can very easily bring even opposing camps together to agree on issues pretty easily. He labor for the whole world and Nigeria itself. Professor Oshotume's friends, colleagues, and staff at NACA, as well as Nigerians who value life, will miss Professor Oshotume for good reason. It was at NACA that he established, strengthening, and implemented Nigeria's most robust multi-sectoral 
HIV and AIDS response at the national and state levels. He became the face of the campaign against HIV in Nigeria with his robust information, sensitization, and education program on TV across the country. He mobilized global, national, and private sector financing for the control of HIV, initiating an anti-stigma bill. I want all of us to note that it is not just government. It is not just wives or governors or wives or local government chairmen, but it is all of us. And so in this crusade, we must include civil society organizations, we must include women organizations at grassroots level, traditional organizations that make a difference in our various societies, because that is the only way we can carry the church across Nigeria. One of the greatest areas of his uh, work was in the area of uh, the HIV response to the country. He actually was the one who really lifted up, you know, uh, the response. We are actually a great colossus, a great icon, a great ambassador of Nigeria. Unfortunately, death has taken him away. While we miss him, I think his family misses him. Professor Babatunde Oshotimehin was a colossus. Uh, Professor Oshotimehin was the person who actually found NACA. He's the person who put NACA in the limelight. Um, he started off with NACA when NACA was initially a committee. Um, he did all the background work to ensure that the NACA Act um, came into being. NACA probably feels the pain, the loss of Professor Oshotimehin more than anybody else. Professor Oshotimane was a very hard-working person. His work ethic was something that was unique, and that was why he was able to get that far. And we in NACA will continue to remember him for that, and will continue to aspire to the same standards that he put us on, on the map. We really miss him. On December 17, 2008, then-President Umaru Musa Eredua appointed Professor Babatudio Shatime as Nigeria's health minister. During his tenure, Nigeria witnessed a robust focus on maternal, child and adolescent health. He worked to co-opt the 36 states of the Federation to build a national health plan focused on primary health care. The investments that we need to make to overcome these diseases is fairly small. Uh, and as a people, we owe it to ourselves to actually make those investments because what becomes available to us after those investments is uh, increased productivity of the people who we are to look after. We'll continue to provide resources for our health programs so that uh, we are not chronically dependent on assistance uh, in order to achieve uh, a good health outcome for our people. I think it's a monumental loss, um, not only to me as a person, but to Nigeria, uh, the entire global community. And um, many of us are yet to get out of the shock. It's certainly a star, and I'm saying that in the presence, because um, he's simply a mortal. Um, he fought for the rights well-being, health of women and girls. He stood by them, he fought for them, and um, he was simply outstanding. You, you could identify him anywhere, and he was not shy to speak publicly for them. These may be the crescendo of Professor Babatunde Oshotimane's public service life. This crescendo was however nurtured by an outstanding service to his fatherland. In recognition of his outstanding service to his country, he was honored with the award of the Officer of the Niger OON. 
I described him as a smooth operator, a classy person, at the same time, a very simple human being. One who could walk across all ages. Prof set a pace that was high. He left shoes that were big. He's gone to rest now. We miss him so much, terribly much. But at the point of death, we submit unto the perfect will of God. We miss him so much. May his soul rest in peace. Born on February 6, 1949, in Ogun State, Nigeria, Professor Babatunde Oshutume became a light, a guide, a confidant, and role model not just for his wife of 44 years, Olufunke, his five children, Babajide, Omolola, Taiwo and Kende, and Omoto Milola, his grandchildren, but also those who came across him. He was a highly motivated, hard-working person who set very, very high standards for himself. And as always, he always liked to face the next challenge and then look for the next opportunity. He was a very kind person, a peace-loving person, also protective. He also liked surprising us with treats. Nothing much like uh, just bringing in Suya, for example, everybody gathering around him, rushing at it. You know how children are. On the average, everybody minded their business, but the way he did his work and the portion of it he shared with us opened our eyes to the needs of people beyond our shore, things that should concern us as human beings and especially as a, a female, as, you know, that we too we are female, we can empathize and put ourselves in the position of these people. As Professor Babatunde Oshotime completes his rays of life, there is no doubt that the international community his nation and his family will miss him. As a worst person once said, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Yet, his exit is a celebration because he left the stage in a blaze of achievements and a legacy of trophies.